the mother who used to punish me when I was a child, who said that there was a demon in me. One day I was at her house and she told me, she said, when you were a child, I used to think that the devil was in you. My parents were both Christians. My father was a Christian minister. My mother was a Southern Baptist Christian. She was very devout, as were most of my family. We have many, many ministers in our family, and uh, they have churches all over America. So I was brought up in a strong, strong Christian environment in a strong Christian neighborhood. And I asked my parents when I was 10 years old, now that Esau and Miriam died for me when I hadn't been born, because he had been dead for some 2,000 years, how did he die for me? And I lived in a, a, a city where there was a lot of crime, a lot of violence. I saw people shot. I said, if he died for the sins of the world, then why is the world still sinning? So no one can answer these questions for me. And I asked my mother again uh, at another time, I said, if Jesus was God, then how did he himself die? How could he be killed and he's God? And if he's God, how does he die and come back to life? My mother couldn't answer it. My father couldn't answer it. And every time I would get into mischief, my mother assumed that there was this demon that everybody had told her was in me. And she would beat me severely. I mean, really, really bad. And uh, she would punish me severely. She would tell me to go up into my room, stay in my room for the whole month. Summer would come, school would be out, the kids would be playing. She said, you can't come out till the summer's over. And then I went to a city called Jackson, Mississippi, a city I'd never been in before in my life. Uh, when I got to this city, I was there less than a month, and I was walking down the street that I don't know why I was walking down the street. I looked inside of a bookstore, and I, and I saw a Mutawa. I can only say a Mutawa because of his dress and his long beard. And I backed up, and I walked into the store, and I said, excuse me, uh, what is your religion? This is the first thing I asked him. He said, we're Muslims. And I said, well, what do you believe? He said, we believe in, in, in one God. And I said, and, and, and tell me more about this. Uh, and they said, well, you can come to this masjid and we'll tell you, we'll give you, we'll teach you what you need to know. I walked from that building to that masjid that second. When I walked inside, I knew I belonged there. Immediately, I saw some brothers come in, they offered a lot, they went to Sajud, and I'm like, wow. I just felt in my heart, this is where I belong. Uh, they talked to me about the religion of Islam and uh, they assigned one brother to, to work with me and to, to teach me. This brother's name was Rafiq and brother Rafiq gave me his Quran. He said, this is my Quran, I'm giving it to you to read. And when I started reading this Quran, uh, tears was in my eye. Uh, because I knew at that point that, that, that uh, la ilaha illallah, I knew it. What I, was remarkable to me was when I read the Quran where it talked about how Allah sends the, the, the winds to bring the clouds, to bring the rains, these things that I had witnessed in, in the creation. And immediately, immediately when I walked into that masjid, I took shahada. And that began my life as a Muslim. Probably the, the greatest thing for me was that the mother who used to punish me when I, when I was a child, who said that there was a demon in me. One day I was at her house and she told me, she said, when you were a child, I used to think that the devil was in you. She said, now I know that God was guiding you to something that he didn't show any of us. And she said, I know from watching you today that the religion that you have is the right way. And what you have given is the correct thing. And she took shahada. She said, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. And my mother died as a Muslim. This to me was a big, big victory. My sister became Muslim. My brother-in-laws became Muslims. My friends became Muslims. Uh, when I was in the military, soldiers that worked for me became Muslims. Uh, I, I can't count. If you ask me the number of people who, who Allah guided to Islam for me, I, I couldn't even give you a number. <laughs> ذكر فراقي واشكو بحزن بقايا انيني زارعت هواك رحاب الحنايا لاجلك ايام عمري هدايا